Wow, folks, do I have a story for you today. It's got everything. Drama, heartbreak, betrayal, the real trappings of a true soap opera. But it is all real. Because adult film actress Stephanie Clifford, aka Stormy Daniels, appeared on Rachel Maddow last night to break her silence and drop absolute bombshell revelations about Donald Trump's New York hush money trial, her involvement, how the trial has financially ruined her, and brought death threats to her family, including her 13-year-old daughter, which is absolutely despicable, but unfortunately expected from MAGA morons who, according to her, even think that she brought the case against Trump herself. Like you said, I didn't bring these charges. I didn't ask for it. I was subpoenaed. Um, so much of the hate mail that I get is, drop the charges. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sue him. I'm getting nothing. It caused me so much to come up here and testify. I was not paid. I'm a registered Republican. Sorry. <laughs> She's like, She's like, get out. <laughs> Which just goes to show how not only hateful, but truly stupid these people are. And there is so much more in this multi-part interview, so I've gone through and compiled the wildest and most eye-opening moments for you in this video. And even though, to her credit, Stormy Daniels takes this all on the chin like an absolute champ, what Donald Trump, his supporters, and this trial have done to her and her life is so heartbreaking and just disgusting. So for that reason, as a nice palate cleanser at the end, after we drudge through all the hard stuff, I've saved the best and most positive parts for last, where Stormy really takes the gloves off and goes in. So let's get right into this thing, starting with the financial burden that she's been forced to bear, not only from this case, but from the debacle of a case that disgraced former attorney Michael Avenatti tried to bring against Trump for defamation, that in turn got thrown out, resulting in Stormy having to pay over half a million dollars of Trump's legal fees. When you say you paid to come up here, you paid your own expenses yes, to come testify? Of course, yeah. multiple times. I wasn't like compensated or written a check or anything like that. I got nothing and this has cost me so much. So the case that in which you just testified was a criminal case brought by prosecutors. You were subpoenaed to be there just as a witness. The, the reason that you owe Trump money is a separate matter. Right. Your former lawyer, Michael Avenatti, who is now in prison for defrauding you and other clients, yes. brought a defamation suit against Trump by you. That case was thrown out and Trump was awarded attorney's fees. Correct. And that totals, it's long, make, to make a long story short, it totals at about $600,000 that you need to pay Trump. That is flipping wild, people. After all the crap she's had to go through because of Donald Trump and his tiny tip, she now owes over half a million dollars to a rich, criminally immune POS because of another criminal, Michael Avenatti, whose, and this is true, head also looks like a tiny tip. And as Matto explains at the top of this interview, this has put Stormy Daniels in dire financial straits. I want to let you know that Ms. Daniels was not paid for this interview. We do not do that under any circumstances. We also came to learn over the course of preparing for this interview, she is in fairly dire financial circumstances because of her confrontation with Trump, as evidenced by the fact that she recently asked a friend, a man named Dwayne Crawford, to open an emergency GoFundMe campaign to try to pay the attorney's fees that she has incurred, um, and as she tries to hold on to her house. Which is even more messed up when you consider that the case getting thrown out wasn't her fault, but of course that prick Michael Avenatti, and now Stormy's getting screwed instead of getting the same treatment treatment as, say, E. Jean Carroll. I was never allowed to give testimony. They never saw my evidence. It was never ruled whether I was telling the truth or not. So for all those people that are out there saying you lost a defamation case because they found that you to be a liar or untruthful, is not true. They never even looked at the case. Other side of that is Miss Carroll, E. Jean Carroll, was called the exact same things by Donald Trump. And not only did they accept her case and let her take the stand and let her have her day in court, they've given her millions. Right. Meanwhile, my attorney's fees have racked up to over half a million dollars. Hashtag feminism, am I right? And this is all happening as Trump's gag order has been altered to allow him to talk about witnesses like Stormy, which is disturbing, but not nearly as disturbing as what his supporters have been saying about her and her family. I'm not afraid of what he could say about me or what he could call me. I'm concerned of him saying something that will make his followers come after me more. There's, you know, Facebook threads 
from people in my own community planning to do things to my house and my family. And they couldn't even air everything they said, graphic details about how they were gonna rape everybody in my family, including my young daughter before they killed them. They're demanding personal information about my 13 year old daughter. Which is sick and disgusting and absolutely deplorable in so many ways. And unfortunately, but as I will continue to call out every chance I get, is also par for the course for someone as deplorable as Donald J. Trump. If the father's a wreck like the way he is, right? you imagine the sex with this troubled Yeah, you're probably right. She's probably deeply troubled and therefore great in bed. Back in the day... How come the deeply troubled women? Yes. You know, deeply, deeply troubled. Right. They're always the best in bed. Well, I'll tell you the funniest is that I'll go backstage before a show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed and ready and everything else. And, you know, no men are anywhere... And I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant, and therefore I'm inspecting it. You know, I'm inspecting. Right, I right. want to make sure that you're like everything doctor, is good. You're, you're there. Yeah, the dress is everyone okay? You know, they're <laughs> yeah. standing there with no clothes. Is everybody okay? And you see these incredible-looking women. And so I sort of get away with things. And fortunately, he did not get away with the 34 felony counts he was convicted of. But even that was small solace for Stormy Daniels. But the rooting interest doesn't help you, right? No. Well, more than half the country is rooting for him being held accountable. The people who are actually in the middle of these confrontations are being terrorized and menaced mm -hmm. and ruined. Yeah. And you could be me. Yes. We could all be me. Like yeah. anybody out there, they're trying to seize property of, of people that I care about. That's not even mine to scare me. They're trying to ruin my daughter's life before she even has a chance to live it. And they're trying to financially ruin me and take money. I'm because I told the truth. I am the only person that every single day for the last six years, this has bled into my life. And bled into her life is an understatement. She talks in the interview about not being able to work, not making enough money, having her mailbox distorted, getting death threats, death threats to her daughter, all because of convicted criminal Donald Trump and his supporters. The man somehow still on the ticket as a Republican nominee for president of this country who time and time again proves that he despises women, his own supporters. Hell, he called Stormy Daniels a horse face. And as promised, because I know this is egregious and disheartening, here is Stormy Daniels' perfect retort to that in a previous interview. This is like our president of the United States, ladies and gentlemen, outing to the world that he has a penchant for bestiality because this is the guy who chased me for sex repeatedly and then says I look like a horse face. Like... How do you talk about the looks of someone that you were attracted to without making yourself look bad? Right. And in closing, we need to continue to point out how much of a sleazebag Donald Trump is by standing up to him and speaking the truth like Stormy Daniels did. My testimony that I was subpoenaed, that I everybody considers me to have done this great duty and be a hero, which I am not. I just told the truth. I just I was just a human being. I didn't do anything heroic. I didn't go into a burning building. I didn't, you know, I just said the truth and I've never changed my story d despite what other people said go back look at interviews online from 2019 2020 21 my story hasn't changed at all it's the only one that has been consistent and that's the type of honesty and humility that you will never see from diaper von shits and pants thanks for watching folks I'm Kenny Hess for really American and I'll see you guys in the next one